Hello everyone, Tim Brown. Welcome to Apple Podcast, the podcast that makes a personal connection to everything Apple. I thought I would go ahead and revisit an earlier tutorial that I made uh, about a couple of years ago, actually, uh, illustrating how to use QuickTime Pro 7. I just got a message recently from someone who wanted to add text to his QuickTime video. Now, of course, there are tons of video editing applications out there like ScreenFlow and Camtasia. But there still is a straightforward way where you, that you can add text to your video using QuickTime Pro 7. So let me show you how you do that very quickly. Now you can do that by adding a text file that is a TXT file. QuickTime will open that and import it into your video. Uh, will not open an RTF file. Uh, Quick, uh, Apple also recommends that you import a, an image file as well. And that's what I'm going to recommend because it looks a little bit more professional. So the video that you see here is... Stephen Roth Powell blowing glass. I want to add his name along the bottom and I want it to be displayed throughout the video. But I'm going to create a text image in a different application. I'm going to use Pixelmator in this case. You can use whatever application you prefer. I'm going to size it the same dimension as the video, 640 by 360. Uh, on top of this default layer, I'm going to add a text layer and I'm going to go ahead and just type the artist's name. Stephen Rolf Powell and I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and change it to white. I'm going to grab the move tool and move that down a little bit. I'm going to go to the background layer, get my eraser tool and I want to go ahead and erase the background because I want the background to be transparent. So just give me a few seconds while I get rid of all of this background here. Okay, I guess that's good enough. And I'm going to, once again, select my text layer and position this text where I want it. I want it to appear right at the bottom of the video. So it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go to File, Export. Make sure it's a PNG. And I'm going to call this Text File PNG. Save it to the desktop. Okay, let's go back to QuickTime. And we're going to open that file that I just created, which I'm calling uh, text file PNG. And as you can see, it's the exact same size as the video. So I'm going to do a Command A or Select All, do Command C for Copy. And I'm going to select all of my video clip as well because I want the text to be added throughout the video. I'm going to go to Edit, Add to Selection and Scale. That means that whatever is selected in the video, if it, whether it's a portion of the video or all the video in this case, that's what the text is going to be added to. And so now that text covers the entire video. I have one problem. The whole video is now white. That's because we're not done. We're going to go to Show Movie Properties. And we're going to scroll down to that layer that we just added, which is the PNG. and showing up as Video Track 2, Format PNG. Go to the bottom left to this drop down menu here, and we're going to select straight alpha. And when you select straight alpha, the text now appears and will appear throughout the duration of the video. And that's a simple way to add text to your QuickTime movie using QuickTime Pro 7. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Marvel Podcast. My name is Tim. Check me out next time. Thank you.